kickoff about to get underway here. Teeing it up is uh, Kyle Dixon for the Tillers. And the football game is underway. Quincy Lever takes the kickoff. Back across the 20, dragged down at about the 21, maybe got to the 22-yard line. That's where the Foothill offense will take over. So first down and 10 for the Knights. Ball spotted at the 22-yard line. Foothill returns 13 starters this year, six on offense, seven on defense. And we expect to see sort of a spread out offense from the Knights, very much in stark contrast to what we'll see from the Tillers when they get their hands on the football. First and 10 Foothill, back to pass. It's a short completion, about a three yard gain up to the 25 yard line. Derek Fitch completed that pass. About a two or three yard gain on the play, depending on where they spot it. It's about the 25 yard line, so it's about a second and seven here. Pitch under center. That's Lever in motion to the far side. Tustin showing blitz. There's the handoff and immediately hit in the backfield and dragged down as the ball carrier. That's number 11, Robert Gary. Good stop up front by the Tillers. It's a loss of one on the play. Gonna bring up a third and eight for the Knights. Tustin returns nine starters on offense this season, including their entire offensive line, so you know that has to help. Seven starters return on defense, and this is a defensive core that should be one of the top in the entire county, if not the entire southern section. So make it third and nine for Foothill. Now back at their 23-yard line. There's the fake handoff, and uh, he's absolutely stuck in the backfield. Down goes Fitch. Little play action pass, but Tustin wasn't biting at all on that play. So the sack takes it all the way back to about the 17 yard line. Brian Judd, who will also be the quarterback tonight. We'll talk about that uh, switch in just a couple of moments, but he was in on that quarterback sack. So fourth down for Foothill, no punt it away. Here's the kick away, it's a short one. It's gonna be taken and Nice play there by number 43, James uh, Kuklinski. So good field position for the Tillers to start off their first drive. It'll be first and 10 at the night 45 yard line. Well, starting quarterback David Miller, who was also the son of head coach Myron Miller, uh, suffered a knee injury just a couple of weeks ago in a scrimmage. He had surgery on that knee, will be out for uh, at least a couple, two or three weeks. So Brian Judd, the junior, will take over at quarterback for the Tillers. So a big assignment for uh, young Mr. Judd here, his first uh, varsity start. There's the pitch, immediately out over the left side, finally dragged down at the 25 yard line it is number 27, Chris Chester. 6'4", 230 pound senior. Huge gain on the play, first down for Tustin. You may be familiar with uh, Myron Miller and his uh, offense at Tustin, the wing T offense. 90, 95% running, there's another pitch. And uh, Field does a pretty good job there, a better job at least of uh, stopping that one. It was Ricky Miller on that carry. He's a 6'3", 230-pound junior. A 
whole lot of deception in this offense. It's kind of a pitch it back to your uh, wing backs and smash mouth football right up front. It's a second and eight for Tustin. Back to pass is Judd. He's got scrambling ability. Shucks a tackler. He's able to make some room out of it. And a nice gain by Judd. Nice play. Thought about passing downfield, thought better of it. Got away from one defender, and they made a pretty good run. It's going to be a first down for Tustin. And they are at about the Foothill 12 yard line now. First and 10 for the Tillers. Inside give. That's one of the few deceptions you'll see in this offense. Mostly it's a pitch uh, offensive attack, but every once in a while you'll see that little inside handoff to the fullback, like you did on that play right there. Still second and eight for Tustin. 8 12 left to go here in the first quarter, very early on. No score. Second and eight, Judd under center. Eye formation behind him. There's the pitch back to the tailback. Out over the right side, dragging a couple of tacklers down near the goal line. Is he in? It's a fumble, and Foothill has recovered. It was Ricky Miller on the carry. Boy, got all the way down to the goal line. They must have just stripped the ball from him right at the end. So a tough break for Tustin, but a huge break for Foothill. They need some plays like this to get their confidence up in this ball game. This, this is a game that Tustin is very much heavily favored to win here tonight, being one of the top teams in CIF Division VI. So a huge break for Foothill. The only bad news out of it is, is they have first and 10 on their own one yard line. So got to really be careful here as Fitch gets under center. The man in motion coming to the near side. The handoff to him. A couple of yards there for the Knights. Gain of one, maybe two on that play. Call it a gain of one, second and nine. Here's a good look at the Tustin defensive unit. You hear a lot of the same names between the offense and the defense for the Tillers. Miller carries a very small squad. Most players do go both ways, so you're going to hear a lot of the same names here in tonight's ball game. Second and nine. There's another handoff. Out over the right side, and good pursuit by the Tillers. Nothing doing. Maybe a gain of three on the play, but dragged down quickly was Robert Gary. 5'10", 190-pound senior. A third down and six for the Knights. As they attempt to get something going deep in their own side of the football field. Back to pass is Fitch. He puts it up. Got a receiver down the sideline. Oh, and a nice play to bat it away. Pass was intended for Matt Goto, but uh, knocked away by Carlos Ramirez. Nice play to get back into that play by Ramirez. and got a hand up there to knock it away. Fourth down, and the punting unit comes on for the Knights. away and it's a decent one. Boy, actually a really good punt. Much better than the last one. It's going to roll and be down at the 34-yard line of Tustin and that's where the Tillers will take over on their second set of downs. First down and 10 for Tustin. 
As I mentioned, they returned 16 players, uh, 16 starters on this year's team, 19 seniors overall. So it's a very experienced Tiller team, and one that I mentioned, uh, bitter taste in their mouth in round two of the playoffs a year ago in CIF Division Six. A 6-3 loss to Loera, and a turnover laden game for the Tillers. One that they would like a chance to obviously redeem this season. First and 10 for Tustin. Judd is under center. There's the pitch to Chester out over the right side. Big room. Check that. Ricky Miller. Ricky Miller gets the pitch there. And it looks like it's going to be enough for a Tustin first down. Apparently there was a penalty flag in the field. I did not see it as it happened, but it's going to be a big one. 15-yarder against Tustin. Let's see if we can get the call here. It's a clip on the Tillers. And the ball is going to go all the way back to the 19-yard line. The first and 25 for Tustin. 5.58 left to go here in the first quarter in a rapidly paced first quarter. No score, in case you're just joining us here on AT&T, channel 33. It's Matt McCoy on the carry. Another flag down on the play, though. So this one's also going to go against the Tillers. It's holding against Tustin. So mark that back off 10 more yards, and uh, the Tillers are heading the wrong direction right now. First down and forever, make it first and 35 for Tustin at their own nine yard line. They had a first down at their own 34, but uh, Clip and a hold has brought this thing all the way back. So a big chunk of yardage to make up here for the Tillers. Let's see if they go to the air, if they stick on the ground. They stay on the ground, fumble, but picked up immediately. Nice job by Chester, but he's gonna be dragged down. No gain, if anything, and in fact, maybe a one-yard loss. Good pursuit after that by the Knights. Well, you can really see the size difference. Uh, even from up here, the Tillers definitely hold a big size advantage over the Knights, but a little bit of team speed there on Foothill, maybe uh, hoping to make up for some of that. The second of 34. For Tustin, they're going to call it a gain of one on that play. And Judd comes up and he wants a timeout. So, a timeout on the field as Myron Miller will go talk it over with his offensive unit. We have four minutes and 40 seconds, I believe. They let the clock run down a little bit even after the timeout was called. They'll have to fix that. But we'll be right back. No score here. Tillers versus the Knights. You're watching high school football on AT&T Channel 33. Okay, and welcome back. Second and 34 for Tustin. Deep in their own territory. There's the pitch back and a nice little shift uh, out in the open field there. That's uh, Ricky Miller once again on the carry. And he gets a little bit, little bit of that yardage back. It's about a 10 yard gain. For Tustin, of course, they need a lot more than that. It's going to bring up uh, about a third and 24 now for Tustin. They're going to call it third and 25, a nine-yard gain on the play. Ball's up at the 19-yard line. and So far, Tustin's been hampered by a fumble 
at the Foothill one yard line. And on this drive, a clipping penalty and a holding penalty to put them in this big hole. Third and 25, I formation behind Judd. He's gonna give it off. The player on the reverse coming back around. It's gonna be short of the first down. They almost get back to the original line of scrimmage. That's number 44, Frosty Rucker. His first carry of the night. So the ball is about three yards short of the original line of scrimmage. It's a fourth and 13 for Tustin, and they're going to punt it away. So the first two offensive series for the Tillers haven't gone as you think they would have scripted it. And uh, Foothill will get another chance here after the punt. Kick is away. Ball is fielded. Brought down after just a couple of yards of forward progress is number 11, Robert Gary. And Foothill will take over first down and 10 at their own 40-yard line. So here come the Knights out for another attempt. Last time they got to start at their own one yard line after recovering that Tustin fumble. This time a little bit better field position for them up at their own 40 yard line. Back to pass is Fitch, pass is caught. Boy, and he stuck immediately. That's number nine, Mike Burningham, 6'2", 205 pound junior. Decent little game though, about three yards, maybe four. Yeah, they're gonna call it a three yard game for Foothill. Be second and seven. You got to think it would be a big boost to this Foothill program under first year head coach Doug Case to pull off the huge upset here tonight. Pitch back to the tailback, and they're going to string it out. Tustin does a nice job of stringing it out. It's Dewan Smith on the carry. 5'4", 140 pounds. Averaged uh, 6.6 .6 yards per carry last season, did Smith. Looks like uh, about a one-yard gain on the play. Make it about a third and six for Foothill at their own 44-yard line. A little movement up front here as the flags fly. Tustin got into the neutral zone, but uh, we'll see if they were drawn across by Foothill. Nope, it's an offsides against the Tillers. They shoot themselves in the foot one more time, and it's going to be a much shorter try at a first down for Foothill than it would have been. So much better position here for the Knights. Third and about a yard, maybe half a yard here to get to the first down and right directly across the field from it. It looks like just about a half a yard. If they move it up a couple lengths of the football, they'd get the first down. We'll see what Fitch does here as he's under center. Man in motion coming from the far side of the near side. There's the handoff. And uh, it's going to be close to the first down. It looks like the Knights have the first down. Yes, they do. They mark it immediately. First down, Foothill. So the offsides penalty hurts the Tillers there as Foothill earns themselves a new set of downs. First and 10 now at the 50-yard line. Minute 34 left to go here in the first quarter. No score in a really fast-paced opening quarter. Pitch back to pass. Looking over to the far sideline. Ball is caught. 
flag down on the play. No signal on whether or not the catch was complete. But we have a possible pass interference penalty coming over on the far sideline. I did not see a signal on whether or not they ruled that a catch or not. It's close over there on the far sideline. At about the Tustin 30 yard line. We'll see what the call is now. Going to be pass interference against the offense. So this time, the yellow hanky comes out against Foothill. It's a loss of down for the Knights. And it's going to take them all the way back to the Foothill 35-yard line. Wow, a huge penalty against the Knights there. Loss of down plus the 15 yards. Some huge penalties against both teams so far in this first quarter. Minute 13 left to go in the quarter. There's the give to Smith. Just a couple of yards. Up to make the stop was Matt McCoy, six foot, 200 pound senior. McCoy was the Golden West League Defensive Player of the Year in 1999. He was named LCIF after amassing, get this, 18 and a half sacks. Had two defensive touchdowns and uh, throwing two block punts a year ago as well for Matt McCoy. So he's looking to possibly outdo those numbers in his senior season. We'll see if he can do it. That's a tall order, though. What a year he had as a junior. Third and 24 for Foothill. Back to pass is Fitch looking for the screen. They complete it and immediately drilled. I don't think the pass was complete. No, nope. pass incomplete. Didn't matter because the receiver was just going to be dropped immediately. Matt McCoy stayed at home, and he sniffed that one out pretty quickly as that screen pass was going nowhere. So a chance that a pretty good drive stalls for Foothill. They're going to have to punt it away now. Not much of a rush as the punt gets away. Pretty good one. Fair catch called for at about the... Tustin 21 yard line and that's where the Tillers will take over once again first down and 10 from their own 21 yard line. 21 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. But the Tillers really line themselves up with a heck of a schedule this year. They'll take on some top notch division one teams as they uh, continue on. Bishop Amat next week. Servite, San Bernardino, which is a pretty good team. Santa Margarita, and then they get their break finally as they get into Golden West League play later on in a couple of months. Give to the fullback this time through. That's number 42, Steven Diaz. Puts his head down and is able to gain a couple as we're going to come to the end of the first quarter here. And that'll do it. That'll cap off the first quarter of play here at Northrop Field. And after one quarter, it's Foothill zero and Tustin zero. We'll step aside real quick and we'll be right back with second quarter action. Right after this, you're watching AT&T Broadband Channel 33. Okay, welcome back. Second quarter action just about set to get back underway here. No score in case you're just joining us. Foothill and Tustin, uh, both teams have had decent opportunities. Uh, Tustin having the best opportunity so far. They got all the way down to the Foothill one yard line, but a fumble on that one yard line stopped uh, their best drive of the game. But the Tillers do have the ball back right now. Brian Judd hands off. And a pretty good job by the Knights of just hanging with it. That's Chris Chester with the carry right there. Jenkins on the stop for the Knights. And it's going to be about a third and five here for the Tillers.
Third and five at their 27-yard uh, line. The Tillers really haven't been able to break off too many big gains yet with this wing T offense. And there's the pitch back that time. And a nice job once again by the Knights. Good pursuit. That's number 31, Josh Hoskins. He just dragged down Frosty Rucker. Really had no chance to get any kind of a run going. And right now the Battle of the Trenches is being won by the Knights as they stopped that offensive drive by the Tillers. And Tustin forced to punt it away once again. Boone. The rush was on and almost blocked, but punt is away. It's not a very good one. A little bit takes a little bit of a bounce, and it's going to stop dead right on the 50-yard line. So Foothill with another chance here. Pretty good field position at the 50-yard line. They'll take over first down and 10. Doesn't get any easier for the Knights next week either. They'll take on Woodbridge right back here at Northrop Stadium. That'll be next Thursday night. Woodbridge expected to be one of the better teams in the CBU League again this year too. Here's the pitch outside. That's the run by Dewan Smith, and he gets a pretty good gain. And again, about four, maybe five yards on the play. Ramirez in on the stop for the Tillers, but it's a gain of about four and a half, almost five yards for Foothill, second down. In a four, second and six. Pitch back to pass. Got a receiver open. Pass is incomplete. Incomplete. Pass was intended for Tyler Crudwig. But uh, Fitch just a little bit short there. And it's going to bring up now third and six for the Knights. On the 46 yard line. Man in motion coming to the near side. Pitch with the fake pitch, but the inside handoff. DeWan Smith on the carry, and he's going to just be, oh, about a yard and a half short of a first down here. Maybe two yards. Interesting decision here for uh, head coach Doug Case. What's he going to do? And uh, I guess no decision at all. He's going to send down the putting unit. So not wanting to give Tustin a chance to have better field position than they might if they don't convert on this on a fourth down. They'll go ahead and punt it away. Punt is fumbled. The snap is fumbled. The punt finally got away. Boy, it's a pretty good one. It's going to be down at about the one and a half yard line. There's a flag down though. Flag down. Back by where the punter is and uh, Foothill may be signaling a roughing the punter penalty here. We'll have to see what the uh, what the call is. Yep, it's roughing the kicker against Tustin. Boy, a huge break for the Knights. On the field. Well, either way, Foothill was going to make out. Either they down the ball at the one and a half yard line of Tustin, or even better for him, roughing the kicker. It's going to be a big first down here for Foothills. They'll get the ball back now. And Tustin continues to commit some tough turnovers here. Kind of hard to overcome some of these things eventually. And their defensive unit will have to go back out on the football field for a little while longer. The 
the Taylor team so talented, though, especially on the defensive side. And you know they're in tip-top physical condition, as all Myron Miller teams are year in and year out. These kids all bo basically go both ways, so no chance at fatigue here, even if this defense stays out here for multiple minutes. There's a fumble, and immediately jumping on it is Dewan Smith. So good job by Smith to jump on that loose ball, but it's going to be a pretty sizable loss here for Foothill. They had a loss of four yards. He's second and 14. Now they're going to say he lost five on the play. Mark it back just a little bit further there. Second and 15 now for Foothill. So the junior Fitch back under center. Man in motion. There's the handoff once again to Smith and nothing doing up the middle. That looks like number 70, Tony Deep. On the stop. Six foot, 230 pound senior. So third and 14 now for the Knights at the Tustin 29-yard line. Check that 31-yard line. Pitch back to pass. He's got a receiver open over the middle. Ball is caught. Complete to number four, Quincy Lever. And that's going to be a Knight first down. Boy, he just ran a nice little down and in pattern. Just got right in between the defenders there, and Fitch just laid a nice pass right into his hands. Good job of holding onto the ball by Lever. And a golden opportunity here now for Foothill to put the first points of the ball game on the board. 7-10 left to go in the first half. No score in this football game. And you got to think the more success the Knights here have here on the football field, the more confidence they're going to build. Maybe they do have a chance to beat this Tustin team. It's a tall order, though. This Fitch hands off to Smith, and that's exactly why it's a tall order. McCoy says, uh-uh, you're going nowhere on this one. He drags down Smith for a loss. Two-yard loss on the play. I'll call it three yards. All right, we'll split the difference with you. Second and 13. At the 18 yard line. And off to Smith. Oh, and hit immediately. Coming right up the middle was number 44, Frosty Rucker. The big linebacker comes up with a big play right there. So a couple of big stops in a row by the Tillers as they're digging in here. Taylor Pride out there going to dig deep. Try to make a big defensive stop here. Third and 17 for the Knights. And a roll out by Fitch here. He just throws that one away. Big pressure there by Rucker and McCoy all over Fitch on that play. It's going to bring up fourth down for the Knights, and they're going to send out the field goal unit. I mentioned the Tiller defense was digging in there, and they did it. They accomplished their task, keeping the Knights out of the end zone so far and off the scoreboard up to this point, but we'll see if Foothill can put through a field goal here. Mark Galino to attempt it. The snap, the ball down, the kick is up. No good. Wide to the left. So the Tillers come off the field. They accomplished what they set out to do. Boy, they got bent back a little bit there to that defensive unit, but did not break. Came up big when it counted. 
And they hand the ball back over to their offensive unit. First down and 10 for the Tillers. So a huge opportunity there after the roughing the kicker penalty. Got Foothill down a pretty good position, but a fumble and then a couple of big defensive stops by the Tillers. And Tustin will take over once again. Junior Brian Judd is under center. He pitches the ball back. Nice little gain up near first down yardage. Ricky Miller on that carry. We mentioned the defense digging in. Now we'll see if the offense can dig in a little bit. Maybe start uh, imposing their will against his night defense. See if they can't get something going here. You know, they've got to be a little bit frustrated. This vaunted wing T offense that the Tillers come in with, it's just chewed up yardage ever since Myron Miller uh, came over to Tustin from Costa Mesa High School. An offense that has worked for Miller for years upon years and no different here with the Tillers. Here's the pitch back to Rucker, and he's going to come up and pass. No, he's going to bring it back down and run with it. Frosty Rucker wanted to heave a pass downfield, but uh, thought better of it. Pulled it down and decided to run with it. Got a couple of yards, and it's enough for a first down for the Tillers. So we talked earlier in the, on in the uh, in the cable cast about not much deception in this wing T offense, but every once in a while you see a little something from Myron Miller and a little option pass possibly right there. Maybe we'll see it again a little bit later on. But first down for Tustin here. About the 33-yard line. Here's the pitch back. Pretty good pursuit by the Knights. They take care of Ricky Miller. Uh, hit him behind the line of scrimmage, but Miller's just so big and strong. He drags a couple of tacklers up and ends up making about a four or five-yard gain out of him. That's a five-yard gain, second and five. So even when... Foothill gets a chance to hit the ball carrier behind or maybe even at the line of scrimmage. This big group of ball carriers for the Tillers, just too big and strong here. Judd with the pitch. And there's a nice run once again. Very close to a first down, Chris Chester. For the last couple of years at Tustin, Brandon Malcolm was the star running back. Back-to-back 1,600-yard -back seasons for Malcolm. And last couple of years, just one guy getting most of the carries. Of course, a guy named Deshaun Foster was around here before that. And uh, everybody, uh, at least everybody who's a football fan in this area knows who Deshaun Foster is and the record-setting numbers he put up in the Tiller offense. Of course, now uh, putting up some uh, record-setting numbers at uh, UCLA this year as well. But this year, it's really a running back by committee for the Tillers, and I don't think they mind that one bit because most of the guys who play linebacker or defensive line for the Tillers are the same guys who run with the football. It's going to be a Tiller first down after the measurement. So there's running back by committee, but, boy, you have four or five guys who can really run with the football, and they're all big, huge guys. I mean, McCoy, Miller, Chester, Rucker, all these guys are 6 feet to 6'3". Well over 200 pounds, all of them, and you know they're a load to bring down, and they're all fast as well. So a nice luxury for Myron Miller and his squad this year to have that many fresh bodies to keep bringing in time after time, and you know that's just going to wear down the opposing defense eventually. When you have that many fresh guys that are that good that you can bring in time after time. So as I mentioned at the top of the cable cast, a lot of big things, many big things expected out of the Tillers this year in 2000. It's just uh, step one along the process. First down and 10 for Tustin. Boy, and you can just see them drag the pile, just drag the pile. Offensive line gives them a little room and the, these ball carriers just take a couple guys on their back, drag them a couple more yards like Ricky Miller did right there. Pretty much been Miller getting most of the carries early on as the clock continues to wind down. 2.49 left to go till halftime. No score still. Maybe kind of a surprise to a lot of people. No score in this football game. A turnover and a, 
a slew of penalties here in this first half have really stymied both offensive units' chances to get on the scoreboard. Two and a half minutes left to go till halftime. Second down and four for Tustin. Give inside to the fullback. That's McCoy and a big gain for the Tillers as he's out across the 40-yard line, down to the foothill 39. Another first down for Tustin, and now they're really starting to move the chains. This is the way this offense is most productive. It's a chain-moving offense. And not always little by little either. It's not uh, three or four yards in a cloud of dust. This is an offense very capable of chewing up big chunks of yardage at any time. 2.17 as the clock continues to count down till halftime. First down and 10 for Tustin, and they take their time getting to the line of scrimmage. Apparently in no hurry so far. Judd under center once again. And he rolls out. He's looking to pass. Still looking, still looking. Going to run with it now. Boy, coming back to make a nice block was number three, B.J. Stelly. And Judd is able to make a little bit out of it. Did he get out of bounds to stop the clock? Yes, he... No, he did not. As the clock continues to wind down, a minute 43 till halftime as Miller talks it over with his offensive crew really quick there on the sideline. Sends them back in. So a minute 30 left to go till halftime, and... Tustin's still not in any real hurry here to get things going. Judd with the inside handoff. Steven Diaz on the carry. Minimal gain. It'll be interesting to see if the Tillers want to use any of their timeouts as we get down to exactly one minute now left to go in the half. Under a minute here. And still, Tustin still has not used either of their two remaining timeouts. Judd's under center. There's the pitch back. There's a run up the middle. Breaks it out almost to the 25-yard line. Does Frosty Rucker. The clock stopped with 38 seconds left to go. Finally, Tustin decides to call one of their two remaining timeouts. And... Coach Miller will come out and talk it over. So 38 ticks left on the clock till halftime. Still no score, but Tustin definitely with their best scoring opportunity of the night here on this drive. I mentioned the size of some of these players for Tustin. Steve Diaz, 6 feet 220, a three-year starter. He was all league twice. Frosty Rucker, 6'3", 225. He was all-league a year ago at Santa Ana. He's back now at Tustin, where he played as a freshman and a sophomore. Chris Chester, 6'3", 230. Uh, Ricky Miller, 6'3", 230. He was second-team all-league a year ago. Matt McCoy, 6'2", 200. We talked about all his accolades last year, including Golden West League Defensive Player of the Year and all CIF accolades as well. So, boy, the bodies are big, tough, and fast here for the Tillers. But so far, Foothill has done a pretty good job of neutralizing this potent Tustin offensive attack. Give the Knights a lot of credit. No score still left, 38 seconds. As Judd rolls to his right, looking to pass. Gets a pass away. He's got a receiver wide open, and the pass floats. Just out of the reach of number nine, Chris Barrett. Barrett had gotten wide open in the end zone, and... Brian Judge is not quite able to get a, a tight spiral on that pass, and it just kind of floated off to the left on him there. So, you know, the nerves maybe still got to be uh, running around a little bit in Brian Judd, uh, getting the start here tonight in place of David Miller, who, uh, if you, in case you missed it, is out with a knee injury out a couple of weeks. So junior Brian Judd done a pretty good job here tonight as... Here's a pitch back to Miller once again as the clock ticks down. Timeout, Tustin. They take their final timeout. And uh, Miller didn't like something maybe that a Foothill player uh, said to him, and uh, one of his linemen came over, pulled him out of there. And Good job there. Don't want to see anybody get thrown out of the game here tonight. And such an important game. 
really sets the tone for either team, whoever wins here tonight. Foothill could really get a huge confidence boost with a win here tonight. And, of course, Tustin very much expected to come away with a victory. And a 7-8, maybe even 9-win season, definitely in the realm of possibility for the Tillers. But I mentioned their killer schedule. Next week, uh, they're home to Bishop Ahmad. After that, they're uh, against Servite. That'll be at Cal State Fullerton. Then they travel to San Bernardino. Then they're home back-to-back. -back. Santa Margarita, another tough one. And then homecoming October 12th against Ocean View. Then Pacifica, another non-league game. And then they finish off the league schedule. Santa Ana, Saddleback, and then Westminster. So a brutal schedule for the Tillers, but... Uh, Coach Miller uh, thinks his guys are up to the task this year. 25 seconds left to go till halftime. Still no score. So third down for the Tillers. Third and eight. Judd back to pass. Looking, looking. The pass just floated out of the reach of number 44, Frosty Rucker. Double coverage back there, but uh, Judd tried to drop it in there. To no avail. And big choice here for... Tustin, they're going to attempt a field goal. About a 47-yard field goal here. Kyle Dixon on the field. Ball is down. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And no good. And Foothill. You see their defensive team running off the field, waving their arms, jumping up and down. They like what they did there. Same way the Tiller defense dug in on that last one. This time it's the Knight defense that did some digging in down here deep in their own territory as they put a big defensive stop on the board against the Tustin Tiller offense. So another confidence builder for Foothill. 13 seconds left to go till halftime. Still no score. You know, it's kind of been a frustrating first half for Tustin. I'm sure they'll be talking about that at halftime. And maybe a big morale boost for Foothill. They're back to pass. Pass is complete and caught. Immediately dropped after the completion is number 81, Kurt Katnick. Clock stop with six seconds left to go. As soon as they mark the ball, the clock should start once again. Well, no, Foothill uh, decided to call a timeout. I decided to go ahead and call a timeout here. Well, you think they'd be content maybe to just take a knee, go in at halftime with no points on the board for either team. You know, that's, that would be a big boost for Foothill. But uh, maybe they got something up their sleeve here. Second and four. At their own 26 yard line. Just six seconds left to go. And of course, what is a fast paced first half here at Northrop Field. Most of Tustin's games are pretty well fast paced because of all the running they do. Really gets that clock moving. So second and four for the Knights. Back to pass and just heaving it up in the air. Incomplete. Clock says nine tenths of a second. We have a game clock with tenths of a second on it here at Northrop Field. So point nine to go in this first half. And it's third and four for Foothill. Kind of surprised they're actually putting it up at this point. Uh, maybe take the chance of a sack and a fumble or even an interception that Tustin might be able to bring back. But maybe Foothill thinking, hey, we've got to get something going any chance we get. Maybe they'll catch lightning in a bottle here. Maybe someone will fall down on defense. They'll get a lucky play. Who knows? But nine-tenths of a second left to go till halftime. Pitch under center. And he's going to hand this one off to Smith. He's got a little bit of running room. Gets out to the outside. Gets to the near sideline. Got a little bit of speed. Finally dragged down. 
at the 45 yard line and that's how the first half comes to an end. So Foothill really with a confidence boost you have to think here at halftime going in. Tustin probably a little frustrated because then you look on this as you look at the scoreboard no score for either team here at halftime. 0-0 is our score. We are at the half. It's the crosstown battle between the Foothill Knights and the Tustin Tillers. Glad you've joined us for bringing you all the action here on AT&T Broadband Channel 33. We'll break for halftime. We'll be back with and welcome back to Northrop Field on the campus of Tustin High School. AT&T Broadband Channel 33 bringing you complete coverage of this annual Hatfield versus the McCoys here in the city of Tustin. The Tustin Tillers hosting the Foothill Knights. Halftime getting ready to end here. Second half action just getting ready to get underway. And surprise, surprise, no score at halftime in case you're just joining us. Neither team able to put a point on the board. Each team having a field goal attempt go wide. That was about the closest we came to some scoring in the first half. We'll see what we get here in half number two. Foothill kicking off to Tustin. Ball taken at about the two-yard line. Returned up the field quickly out of the open field. Finally dragged down is the ball carrier, number 24, Denny Kashupanen. He gets up to the 35-yard line. That's where the Tillers will take over. First down and 10. So as we mentioned right before the half, boy, it had to be a real confidence boost here for Foothill to be able to keep that much talked about Tustin offense off the scoreboard during the first two quarters. But uh, if only they could have gotten some points on the board themselves, unable to do so as well. That's where we stand. Junior Brian Judd back under center taking over for the injured David Miller who was unable to start here tonight. Here's the inside give. That's McCoy on the carry. Matt McCoy, the big fullback. Got an eight-yard gain on the carry. Going to bring up a second and two. So Brian Judd getting the start here tonight. And uh, maybe the butterfly is finally... Uh, out of the stomach of uh, young Brian Judd, maybe after getting that first half under his belt. He did a very good job, though, of leading this offense in the first half. Here's the inside give once again to McCoy. Another big gain. That's a first down for the Tillers, and uh, they get on the move. The nice part about the uh, Tiller offense, though, is the pressure really isn't on the quarterback to do a lot as far as uh, having to direct the offense through the air. Yeah, they will pass a little bit, but with the majority of this wing tee attack being run, 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 the quarterback's job, and uh, even when Miller was is, is in there and he's a three-year starter, the majority of the job for the quarterback is to pitch the ball and then become another blocker. So, you know, that takes the pressure off a little bit too. Here's the give. Boy, and a nice job by the Knight defense swarming to the ball carrier, Ricky Miller. It's a big stop for the Knights. Loss of two, and it's going to be second down and 12. Ricky Miller checks out. Chris Chester into the ball game at one of the wing back positions. He moves in motion. He's going to get the pitch, and uh, flags fly right as the ball was snapped. Probably in the area of a false start against Tustin, but we'll check out the penalty. No, it's going to go against Foothill offsides. Lined up in that neutral zone. Oh, the Tillers get some of that yardage back that they lost on that. Well, second and seven now for Tustin. Chester and Rucker, it's Rucker in motion. He gets the pitch and he's up over the middle. 
Nice run for Frosty Rucker. 6'3", 215 pound senior. As we mentioned earlier, all league a year ago at Santa Ana High School, but now back over at Tustin. He's a tiller once again, and uh, that's what he was for his freshman and sophomore seasons. Transferred over to Santa Ana. Pretty good year as a junior. Now back uh, in the black and orange of the Tustin Tillers. So just another weapon into the arsenal of head coach Myron Miller in this Tustin offense, as well as the defense. A third and a short three for Tustin. Judd pitches the ball back. First down and maybe more. Oh, flag down though. Nice run by Ricky Miller right up the gut of the field, but a flag flies in the area of holding. We guessed wrong on the last one. Did we guess right on this one? Holding. Yeah, holding against Tustin. So I'll bring that one back. A first down run goes for Knott. So they mark off the 10 yards, and now it's going to bring up a third and 12. And that was the problem for the Tillers in the first half was penalties. Penalties just killed Tustin in that first half. A couple of good scoring opportunities, and also that fumble at the Foothill one-yard line. As it looked like Tustin was really knocking on the door there to put the first points of the game on the board. Judd uh, is able to elude a couple of defenders, but uh, not able to get much further than that. Looked like a busted play from the beginning. As he's dragged down at the 35-yard line. And we have a Foothill player down on the field. That looks like Juan Valdez, although I can't quite confirm the number yet. But the injured lineman uh, grabbing his ankle as he was down in the ankle or shin area. Looked like he was in a lot of pain. Yeah, it is Valdez. So the training staff out there to take a look at Juan Valdez. So as we mentioned in the first half, both teams with numerous penalties really killing any opportunity to put any points on the board. Tustin on their second possession got down to the one yard line and then uh, fumbled the ball away. Foothill recovered. Foothill had a chance uh, after a roughing the punter penalty, but then their drive stalled in the second quarter and uh, a long field goal attempt was no good. And then right before halftime, Tustin put together their best drive of the game so far. And they got down, they attempted a 45 yard, 47 yard field goal right in the, that range. And uh, ball had plenty of distance, but it was just off to the right. And uh, that's it. That's it so far in a game that's been pretty, pretty well played by both defenses, though. You got to give both defenses a lot of credit in this one. They've really held tough. Fourth down for Tustin. They're going to punt it away. And the kick is away, and it's going to take a bounce. Fielded. A nice move in the open field. Up to the 40-yard line is number four, Quincy Lever. So a nice return of the punt by the Knights. Lever gets him up to the 40-yard line, and Foothill takes over there for their possession, first down and 10. Eight thirty-eight left to go in the third quarter. Still no score in the annual rivalry game between these two schools. Just about a capacity crowd, definitely packed here on the Tustin side. And just a handful of seats left over there on the uh, far side of the field, uh, the visiting side for the Foothill Knights. But the community has really come out and rallied around these two high school football programs. There's a pass up and caught. Penalty flags fly on the play. From the referee, though, on whether or not that's the second time we haven't gotten a signal. To, to it looks like it was complete, but we'll sort out the penalty flag here and 
see what the call is. And it's pass interference against the Tillers. So you get another penalty against the Tillers. Mark this one off. Apparently the pass was not complete, otherwise I gotta believe that they would take the completion on the play, but nonetheless the penalty is gonna take it out after uh, after they mark it off up to the 44 yard line of Tustin. So good opportunity here for the Knights. There's the pitch back to Dewan Smith. He's in the open field. He's finally dragged down close to first down yardage out across the 35 yard line. And it is a Foothill first down. They continue to march here with 8.06 showing on the clock. Ball's right between the 44 and the 43 yard line. First down and 10 Foothill. Nice drive here so far. Derek Fitch under center. One wide receiver to either side. Singled running back. He puts the ball up for a pass. That one is knocked away. Pass is intended for number 81, Kurt Katnick. But nice defense over there by Dupanen. Denny Kasupanen, 5'7", 145-pound junior. Kurt Katnick, a 6'4", 230-pound senior. So a bit of a height discrepancy there in the favor of Foothill, but pass was underthrown, and that gave the Tiller defender a good chance to knock that one down. Second down and 10 for Foothill. Same formation here, and another pass. This time it's caught right back to Katnick. Going to pick up about four yards on the catch. It's going to be out uh, inside the 30-yard line. Mark it at the 29. And it's going to be third and six. The third and six for Foothill. And this would be a key play right here if they could convert this first down, convert this into a first down. Back to pass, under pressure, pass. Kind of got crossed up there. A couple of receivers in the area. It looked like it was intended for number 84, Daniel Massey. But the pass zipped by incomplete, fourth down. And uh, head coach Doug Case now with a decision to make here. Looks like they're going to go for it. I haven't seen a kicker come on the field yet and don't think they're going to punt it away this deep into uh, Tustin territory so it looks like a good opportunity here to go for it on fourth down. And that's exactly what Foothill will do. Fourth down and six at the Tustin 29 yard line. One receiver to either side. Single running back. Back to pass. Pass is complete. Inside the five. Finally dragged down at the four-yard line. Clutch, clutch. Pass right there by Derek Fitch. Matt Goto on the catch. And just like that, Foothill is able to convert on fourth down. And they are knocking on the door, folks. It's a 25 yard gain. Boy, Fitch just put that pass perfectly on the hands of Goto. I thought for a second there he was going to break in for the touchdown, but the defender did a nice job of dragging him down. And assistant coach Wally Grant will come out and talk things over with his defensive unit out there, which has to be a little bit stunned right now. And you have to think, as this continues to happen, Foothill continues to gain confidence, and that is exactly what Tustin doesn't want to see. 
Because if you, if you look at it on paper, Tustin should be probably leading this game big right now. Obviously, the Tillers a big favorite, expected to easily cruise to another league championship this year. It would be their fourth in a row if they were able to win another Golden West League championship. Expected to be one of the huge contenders in CIF Division Six this year. One of the best divisions in all of Orange County. And uh, Foothill, kind of the upstart program here, looking to get a fresh start with a new head coach and maybe get things turned around in their program, which saw them go 2-8 a year ago. And the old David versus Goliath here, and David looking to do a little number here on Goliath. First and goal for Foothill at the four-yard line. Derek Fitch under center. I formation behind him, man in motion. There's the pitch back. It's a Gary on the carry. Maybe picked up a yard on the play. I'm going to say a gain of two there. Nice job by Gary to round out an extra yard there. It's at the two yard line now. Second down and goal at the two. The Tustin defense was able to dig in in the first half, stop a foothill drive. Let's see if they can do it here as well. The pitch back to Gary. Oh, he tumbles over the top. But I don't think he got in. Maybe down to the one yard line. Trying to do a little Marcus Allen impersonation there out above the top of the pile, trying to go up and over and didn't quite get there. It's a Tustin player down. Now it looks like Frosty Rucker down. Maybe just trying to stretch it out a little bit. Maybe just a cramp or it doesn't look like anything serious as he hops back up to his feet. Looks like maybe just trying to stretch out the legs there. Uh, Rucker's going to go ahead and check out. Coming in to replace him is uh, Richard Rowland, 6'1", 200-pound junior. Third down and goal at the one-yard line. Foothill knocking on the door here, trying to get some points on the board for the first time in this football game. Pitch to Gary, tries to go underneath this time. No signal, no he's short. He is still short, no gain on the play, maybe a half a yard if that. A nice job once again. That's Juan Valdez getting up slowly again for Foothill. We saw him leave the game earlier on. Back in now, but uh, got up a little bit, a little bit slowly out of the pile that time, but uh, you know, all these players, it's going to take a lot to get somebody out of this football game. Big bragging rights on the line. And uh, Foothill's going to go ahead and talk it over as they have a fourth and goal at the one. They want to talk this one over. We're going to step aside real quick. Foothill knocking on the door, fourth and goal at the one. No score here with five minutes left to go in the third quarter. You're watching Foothill and Tustin on AT&T Broadband Channel 33. And welcome back. Foothill with a huge opportunity here now. Fourth and goal at the one yard line. It's a battle of wills now. The Tiller defense and the night offense. Let's see who wins the battle. Fourth down. There's a fake pitch, rolls out to his right. The pass is up. Knocked away, no good. And the Tiller defense holds. Well, you might have thought they'd try to just power the ball up there to get that final yard into the end zone, but Doug Case says, no, we're going to try a little rollout pass here, see what we can get going, and it's a pretty decent pass, but I couldn't tell if it was tipped or what. It looked like it might have been tipped away, but nonetheless incomplete. And a tiller defense digs in deep once again. Comes up with a huge defensive stop, and we're still scoreless with four and a half minutes left to go here in the third quarter. 
Boy, it's not that neither team wants to score, it's just neither team's defense wants the other one to score. Boy, some really good defense played in this football game here tonight. So it's first down and 99 yards to go for Tustin. Only 10 for the first down, but they're going to have to go the length of the field here. They want to get on the scoreboard first in this football game. delay of uh, the game on the field here and uh, we're finally ready set to go. Brian Judd, the junior who's been very impressive here tonight back under center at the one. There's the handoff up the middle. Boy, they just want to get some breathing room out from deep in their territory. Look like Diaz on the carry there. Steven Diaz, 5'11", 215 pound senior. Four yard gain, second and six for the Tillers. We mentioned a year ago, Tustin going eight and four overall. Another tough non-league campaign for them. They four games they lost, one in the playoffs, of course. Three of them in non-league action. A perfect four and zero to win their third straight Golden West League championship. Looking to make it four in a row this year. As there's the pitch back to Ricky Miller. of just a couple. Yeah, maybe just a yard on that carry right there. Brings up a third and five for the Tillers. At their six yard line. Boy, and Foothill says, nothing doing there, folks. Nah, uh not going anywhere. Is number five, Matt McCoy. Matt McCoy, the ball carrier. And uh, Tustin going to be forced to punt it away once again. One yard on the play. One yard gain on the play. It's fourth and four. But the Tillers really have to be scratching their heads here as Ricky Miller limping off the field just a little bit. Killer offense really have to be scratching their heads wondering what they have to do to really get things going here. Now the punt is away. A little bit short, though. Oh, but it takes a nice tust and roll between the two players back there for Foothill. They let it bounce, and it took the tust and bounce, and it's going to stop at the 50-yard line. So a big break for the Tillers there as Foothill looked like they were going to be well inside around the 40-yard line of Tustin. Instead, they'll take over at midfield, first and 10. Two and a half minutes left to go here in the third quarter. And in case you've just joined us, we're still scoreless. Goose eggs on the board for either team. Some pretty good defense. Some penalty-filled offensive drives by both teams. <laughs> One turnover in the game, a fumble by Tustin at the Foothill one-yard line as it looked like they were ready to go in and finally put some points on the board in the first quarter, but not to be. There's the pitch back to Smith. He gets between a couple of defenders, maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, though, as the Tustin defense did a good job in pursuit there. Looked like number uh, 62, William Johnson, in on the pursuit there for the Tillers. So Tiller down on the field, getting up slowly. Looks to be Steven Diaz. Yeah, it is number 42, Steven Diaz down on the field there. It's like maybe a leg cramp there. They're gonna they're gonna stretch it out. So look there at the Tustin sideline. Well, with 2.11 left to go in the third quarter, no score, it's almost getting to the point now. If we get into the fourth quarter still with no score, it's just going to be a matter of who can 
get something on the scoreboard. Heck, a safety, a field goal, anything. Just get on the board here and get out of here with a win, no matter uh, no matter what the score is. You know, you always hear the proverbial talk about uh, throw the records out the window, throw everything out the window in these rivalry games. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. And in this one, it's kind of how, how it's been. You know, a year ago, 56 to 15, as Tustin had absolutely no problem taking care of Foothill back in 1999. But a little bit different story. And, you know, Tustin uh, in the Myron Miller era, not used to being held scoreless with two minutes left to go in the third quarter. You pro can probably count on just a couple of fingers, maybe, how many times this has happened in the Myron Miller era here at Tustin High School. Nice hand for Diaz as he's finally up and uh, walking off the field under his own power. So second and 10 for Foothill at the 50 yard line. Receiver to either side, single back behind Derek Fitch. He's back to pass now. Three-step drop, puts it up, and the ball, oh! Almost intercepted, in and out of the hands of Frosty Rucker, and boy, he could really smell the end zone there. If Rucker gets his hands on that one and around it, he is gone, folks. There was nobody there to pick him up. All he had to do was catch the football, and we finally would have seen some points on the board, I think. But uh, in and out of the hands of Frosty Rucker, incomplete on the pass, and it's going to bring up a third and ten for Foothill. Well, maybe that's how it's going to happen here tonight. Maybe it's going to be on a turnover somebody finally gets on the board. Somebody looking for the first break here. Third and ten for the Knights. Still at midfield. Same formation. They've used this formation an awful lot here tonight. Man comes in motion to the near side this time. There's the give right up the middle to Smith, and uh, I don't know what they're doing there. A little bit of a draw play, and uh, Tustin really sniffed that out pretty quick. It's actually a loss of one on the play, and uh, Foothill going to be forced to punt it away. A little bit surprised there because uh, Foothill showed on their previous drive that they were able to throw the ball pretty effectively against Tustin. A couple of nice completions, including the 25-yard pickup that got them really down deep into Tustin territory, but uh, maybe trying to cross things up, try a draw play there, but it didn't work. Nice punt here, put away. It's going to be fielded. Now he's going to let it bounce. It's going to roll inside the 10-yard line, down at about the nine. Maybe about the eight, right between the eight and the nine-yard line. First down and ten for the Tillers. They'll take over deep in their own territory again. So a minute 10 left to go here in the third quarter. No score so far. And uh, we're up here kind of wondering what it's going to take for either one of these teams to get on the scoreboard. But with this Tiller offense, it could be fireworks real quick here at any time. The pitch back to Chester. And a gain of maybe three or four yards on the play. Well, they give him forward progress, a gain of five. Going to bring up a second and five. Is a render a minute left to go here in the third quarter. They probably get one play, one more playoff here in the third quarter. Ricky Miller comes uh, off the field again once again, kind of favoring his right foot. It looks like there. It's a pitch to Rucker. Spins, tries to get away, but really wrapped up nicely there by number 27, Ryan Jenkins. And again, it's that foothill defense, which has really proven tough to run against here tonight. Miller still looks like favoring that ankle just a little bit. Going to come now. He's Gonna come right back out. Looked like he was gonna check back in, but uh, 
comes right back out again. Still really hobbling on that ankle. And boy, Justin can ill afford to lose him as he's been the primary ball carrier here tonight. And that's the end of the third quarter. And still, we're right back where we started. Tustin zero, Foothills zero. We'll step aside real quick and we'll be back with the fourth and final quarter. You're watching High School Football on AT&T Broadband, Channel 33. Welcome back. High School Football, Tustin Foothill right here. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Gibson. 0-0 zero, zero is our score. Hard to believe. Beginning of the fourth quarter here. Rucker on the carry. He's up the middle. A little late flag on the play. We'll see what happens. Frosty Rucker, and he comes up limping a little bit at the end of the run. Well, let's sort out the penalty flag here, see what we can come up with. It's right at the end of the run, so... Kind of in the area of holding, maybe uh, maybe a late face mask at the end. And they're really talking it over, deciding, uh, deciding what's going to happen here. Get a look at the yellow hanky on the field there, and here's our signal. It's uh, holding against Tustin. So a 10-yard penalty mark it off against Tustin. And... Uh, Boy, win, lose, or draw on this one for the Tillers. You, you really know one of the themes you'd have to think that Coach Miller's going to go over with his team next week is going to be having to cut down on these penalties. Really tough to get anything going here with all the penalties that the Tillers have had to endure here tonight. And now it's a third and 11. Judd back to pass, steps up, fires it over the middle. It's caught. Caught by number nine, Chris Barrett. And it's a big tiller first down. Boy, oh, I give a lot of credit right there to Brian Judd. Boy, he just stepped up in the pocket, had the rush right in his face, and never wavered a bit. Just put a bullet right in the hands of Barrett. And a big time play there for the junior. Making the start here tonight for the three year starter, David Miller, who, in case you're just joining us, is out with a knee injury. Had surgery on that knee. He's expected back in a couple of short weeks, but in the interim, it's 5'8 junior Brian Judd who's directing the Tiller offense, and he just converted a big third down into a first down for Tustin. Back to pass once again. Rolls out to his right. He's going to keep it and run it. Finally dragged out of bounds around midfield. A nice run there by Judd. It's a second and four. And there you can see Ricky Miller still being bothered by, I, I got to think it's an ankle, although that's just speculation at this point. But they're really favoring something on the right side there. And uh, coming back out of the football game down to the sidelines here. But Ricky Miller obviously not 100% right now for the Tustin Tillers. But as we talked about earlier, these Tillers have more than enough to make up for uh, for that at the running back position. They have four or five guys who can carry the rock. And if one of them goes down, they'll just hand it off to somebody else. Although uh, early in the game tonight, it was Miller who was getting the majority of the carries. Myron Miller for Tustin coming back off the field after talking it over with the troops. Second and four for Tustin right at midfield. Judd pitches back to Rucker. There's a push out over the right side, but 
Foothill wins that battle. Gain of a yard and a half, maybe two. Pretty good job by the Knights there. There was a blocker out in front for Rucker and a little push out there. But uh, Foothill does a pretty good job of stemming the tide there a little bit. And it's going to be third and a long three for the Tillers. And Ricky Miller checks back into the football game. Looks to be moving maybe just a little bit better on that foot now as uh, Frosty Rucker checks out. Third and three, 10-26 left to go in the football game. No score, Judd back to pass, scrambling, back up the middle, under heavy pressure, gets away! Picks up the first down, Ed Moore still on his feet, out over the 30, across to the 20, still on his feet, still up! Judd is gonna score a Tustin touchdown! A late flag on the play. You got to think that's for celebration, but who cares? Ryan Judd, an unbelievable run. Boy, I thought he was sacked for sure back there. He was able to elude that. Another chance for Foothill to drag him down. Two or three more chances. And Ryan Judd would not be denied. He would not go down. Stumbled a couple times, kept his balance, and scrambles all the way into the end zone. I think they're going to call it a 49-yard gain for the touchdown. We're going to start out the penalty flag here and see what that was for. Yeah, in sportsmanlike conduct against Tustin uh, after the touchdown, they'll mark that off on this point after. A crucial point after here that's really going to mark them back on the kick. I got to, I got to say, hey, keep the laundry in your pocket, referee, on that one. Come on, the kid just made a heck of a run there. Give him a chance to celebrate a little bit here in this rivalry game. Ten minutes to go in the football game. Brian Judd makes the run of his life here. Yeah, let him celebrate a little bit. Oh, the extra point kick is up and blocked. Woodhill gets in there and blocks it. Nice job by number four, Quincy Lever, to get in there. So a key block right there. That could loom large later on in the game. But we finally have points on the scoreboard. Tustin on a 49-yard run by junior quarterback Brian Judd. They take a 6-0 lead. Six-play, 92-yard drive by the Tillers. Capped off by Brian Judd's 49-yard scamper into the end zone. Boy, that one's going to be shown a lot on the highlight reel. So Foothill, who had done such a great job defensively here so far in this football game, keeping that Tiller offense at bay. Have to kind of be shaking their heads now on that one. A play where they had the quarterback sacked, had him tackled a couple of times, and he breaks through, gets the score. Here's the kickoff. Oh, that one's put pretty deep. Taken at the four-yard line by Lever. Here he comes. And dragged down at about the 20-yard line. First down and 10 for Foothill at their own 20-yard line. get going now. Boy, a nice chop there. Stop by Frosty Rucker as he dropped. 
Dewan Smith. He just got back to the line of scrimmage. And Frosty Rutgers played a pretty, pretty darn good football game on both sides of the football here tonight. His first game back as a Tustin Tiller after spending that year over at Santa Ana High School. And you know it's got to be exciting for him to come back over here and be a part of this great team. Frosty Rucker having a good game out here on both sides of the football tonight. Derek Fitch back under center. Second down and 10. Pass is caught wide open right there and dropped after a five yard gain. Just looked like a, looked like a hockey check there. To knock the ball carrier off his feet after the reception. That's number 24. Cassie Ponin again on the stop. And uh, Cassie Ponin hobbling off the field now. He'll come over and get a little attention on the sidelines. So third and three. Big down here for Foothill. Pitch back to pass. Pass is up and almost intercepted. Big collision between the defender and the receiver. No flag down. That's a good call by the referees. Contact right at where the ball came together by the two players. Good play by the defender. And it's going to bring up a fourth down. And uh, Foothill's going to have to kick it away. Still punt formation for the Knights. Massey, oh, the snap's over his head. Boy, does a pretty good job of getting it away, though. Ball goes out of bounds about the 50-yard line. Boy, near disaster right there for Foothill. But they avoid that, end up getting the punt away. Bad snap. Well, they're going to say it rolled out at the... 47 yards. It looked like it got a better bounce than that for Foothill, but uh, I won't argue from up here. I don't think Tustin will either. They get the ball first and 10 at the Foothill 47 yard line. So Brian Judd back in at quarterback now after that electrifying run. The last set of downs for the Tillers to get them on the scoreboard. 6 0 Tustin, 8 09 left to go in the football game. Here's Chester with the pitch. He's out over the left side with some speed. Out into the open field, across the 40, across the 30. Finally bumped out of bounds. Inside the 30, close to the 25-yard line. Chris Chester with a nice run. Coming here to the near sideline. Oh, but wait, there is a flag down. Back at the 45-yard line. Hold everything, we'll see what we have here. And it looks like this one's coming back. Boy, another holding call against the Tillers. And that's really been their Achilles heel tonight has been the penalties. And it always seems like it's on one of their bigger plays. Another big gain there by Chester, but uh, nullified on the holding penalty. It's going to take the ball all the way back. That should be back to the 37-yard line of Tustin. And they'll bring it back to the 45-yard line. First down in 20. Well, first down on 18, let's call it, for Tustin. Ball at the 45-yard line. Three running back formation. Here comes Chester in motion. Give to the fullback, McCoy up the middle. He's trying to drag a couple of tacklers, but uh, finally dragged down. Made about four on the play. A 
looked like number 42. Richard Dinges on the stop. McCoy checks out. Here's the pitch to Frosty Rucker. Puts his head down up the middle with the head of steam and gets just inside the original line of scrimmage at the 47-yard line of Foothill. Juan Valdez, Juan Valdez on the stop for the Knights. Five-yard gain, and it's going to bring up a third down and nine for the Tillers. Well, last time Tustin had a third and long. All Brian Judd did was look like Steve Young out there. You may remember that play a couple of years ago by Young where he ran all over the field, looked like he was tackled a couple of times, and he took it in for a touchdown for the 49ers. Exactly what Judd did. The Tillers' last possession. Let's see what they do here on third down. This time it's a handoff to Chester. Looking for some room, but nothing doing. Staying home to make the tackle was number 48, Matt Goto. Gain of about one on the play, and the drive stalls again for the Tillers. Another impressive defensive stand for Foothill, and uh, Tustin's going to have to punt it away. Missed there on the block by Foothill. Almost had that. Oh, and the Tustin fans want a roughing the punter penalty back here as uh, the punter ended up on his seat at the end of that one. Didn't quite catch that. I was more watching the ball as it uh, was kicked away, but looked like the Tustin fans wanted a roughing the punter. We saw one earlier on Tustin against, against Foothill, against the Foothill punter. But uh, that one, that one, the Tillers couldn't get that time. So first down and ten, Foothill. Really haven't been able to get much going here in the second half offensively. Derek Fitch, the quarterback. Derek Fitch under center. He's back to pass. Pump fake. Rolling out to his right. Looking, looking, looking. Oh, and finally dragged out. Matt McCoy. 18 and a half sacks a year ago. Put another one on the board for the senior as that career total continues to climb. Big sack right there for the Tillers. About a six yard loss there. It's going to take the ball all the way back to the Foothill 22 yard line. Pitch back to pass, has a receiver, it's caught. And they get back to about the original line of scrimmage. A pass is caught by number 84, Daniel Massey. So third and 10. It's third and about nine and a half. The down marker just inside. Big orange marker over there, line of scrimmage. About nine and a half yards to go for a first down. Third, and we'll call it nine. Four foot, he'll back to pass his pitch. Just puts it up, got a receiver open, incomplete. Intended for Goto. On the coverage for the Tillers was number 17, Billy Bonaparte. And it's going to be another punt. Foothill back in punt formation. Better snap that time, and the 
kick. Ooh, off the side of his foot. Not a very good kick at all. It's going to bounce inside the 50-yard line and roll dead right at about the Tustin 44-yard line. That's where the Tillers will take over for their next possession. As uh, Kuklinski comes off the field, trying to fire up his uh, offensive teammates there a little bit, trying to spur them on to maybe put a few more points on the board here. 342 left to go in the football game. And Tustin holding on to a very precarious 6 nothing lead. Brian Judd with a 49-yard run here in the fourth quarter to account for the only scoring in the football game so far. There's the pitch back to Miller. Oh, and he's hit in the backfield, escapes a tackler, but then is finally dragged down. Loss of two on the carry. Loss of three yards on the play. Second down, 13 yards to go. Second and 12 for Tustin. Judd under center. Give inside to Diaz. Tries to hurdle the defender, but it's quickly dragged down. Maybe back to the original line of scrimmage. So gain of about two on the play. Yeah, got back to that original line of scrimmage. So it'll bring up a third and ten for Tustin. Clock continues to count down here. 241 left to go in this football game. And you might be tempted to think, well, 6 nothing. maybe it was kind of an ugly game. You know, you expect Tustin to put a lot of points on the board, but really it hasn't been that kind of a football game at all. It's been really a well-played defensive game by both teams. Got to give the defenses a lot of credit here tonight. There's the pitch to Chester, looking for a little room. Gets by one defender, out here to the near sideline, finally knocked out of bounds. But not until he gets to the night 45 yard line close to a first down and we'll have to see where they spot it it looks like a first down to me looks like he got enough yardage but we'll see where it's spotted I think they're going to bring the chains out and take a look at this one the referee's called timeout on the field so the players will get a little bit of a breather here and a little water 2.05 left to go in the football game. And yeah, you have to think at this point if the Tillers can just hold on to the football here, whether they score or not, maybe they'll be able to put this one away. 6 nothing is the Tustin lead. There's a look at head coach Myron Miller on the sidelines. I think they got this. I'll take. I'll go out on the limb. I'll say they got enough to get the first down. Let's take a look. Yeah, it is. It's a Tustin first down. So key conversion there for the Tillers. First and ten at the 45-yard uh, line of Foothill. Two minutes, five seconds left to go in the football game. So we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Time to pull out all the cliches. First and ten for Tustin at the Foothill 45 yard line. Judd pitches it back to Rucker. Dives out over trying to get to the 40-yard line. May have done it. Looks like they're going to give him the forward progress to the 40. Nice run there by Frosty Rucker. Rucker checks out, and that's Ricky Miller back into the football game.
So under a minute and a half left to go in the football game, and you have to think that this one's kind of slipping away from Foothill now. Second and six. They give right up the middle to Matt McCoy. Another big run. Fumble on the field, perhaps. Ball down, and at Foothill recovers. Oh, big break for the Knights. Just what they were looking for. Tustin looked like they were about ready to just run out the clock here. But a fumble on the field. Foothill jumps on it, and it looks like there's maybe one last gasp of breath in the Knights here tonight. A minute 12 to go, and they're really going to have to get something going as they're going to start this drive at their own 33-yard line. Well, for you Foothill fans out there, you got one more chance here, it looks like. Pitch back to pass. He puts the ball up. He has a receiver open. Oh, and the coaches over there are incensed. They want a penalty flag, and they're not going to get it. Boy, they think the receiver got pulled down at the end of the play. One of those tough calls over there could have probably gone either way. I don't think you maybe could have argued it either way, but uh, this time the Tillers get this call, and without the benefit of replay, Kind of tough to, to see. I would like to have seen a second look at that one, but nonetheless, when you're a referee, you only get one look at it, and there they are. Their call stands. No call. Second down and 10, a minute four left to go in the football game. So Derek Fitch hoping to Get his team on the scoreboard here. He's back to pass. Oh, under pressure, gets out of it. Finally dragged down, though. Matt McCoy finally is able to corral the quarterback over there. Number five tackling, number five. We're under a minute left to go here, and uh, Foothill's finally going to spend a timeout. No gain. Boy, and Ricky Miller does not want to come off the football field. Just a little bit limping off again. Didn't want to be replaced. Was waving off, it looked like, uh, his replacement. Didn't want to come out, but nonetheless, comes to the sideline here. Is going to get a little more attention here from the trainer. You, let, you, let, you really like to see that desire from a football player. Doesn't want to leave the football field, even when his body is probably telling him to, to lay off just a little bit. And uh, I don't know if you can see Miller just at the bottom of your screen on the left there, trying to stretch it out, trying to stretch that leg out, and still kind of speculating on maybe what the injury might be. And now they're going to work on the back of the calf area there. And we hope Ricky Miller's okay. He gets a little attention on the sidelines. But 51 seconds left to go. It's uh, do or die time here for Foothill. They put the pass up. This one is intercepted. And that's going to put it away for Tustin. Intercepted by number 27, Chris Chester, it looked like. Nope, actually it's going to go to Kasupanen. Denny Kasupanen comes up. With the clutch interception, number 24 instead of number 27. Give Cassie Pond in the credit there, and he gets a big slap on the helmet there from his teammates. Assistant coach Wally Grant giving him congratulations on there as well. It looks like this one's all over, assuming Tustin is able to hold on to the football this time. 44 seconds left to go, 6 0 Tiller lead. Brian Judbeck in at quarterback. And he's going to take a knee. So officially goes as a loss of one, but Tustin at this point just trying to kill the clock with 21 seconds left to go. And boy, what a ball game we had here tonight. One more kneel down should do it, and that's it. And junior Brian Judd 
He did it. He filled in for the injured David Miller, and it's Judd who comes out the hero. The junior quarterback accounts for the only touchdown of the football game as that's it, the final gun. A 49-yard scamper in the fourth quarter by Brian Judd puts the only points on the board in the ball game. And the Tustin Tillers escape with a 6-0 victory here tonight against their crosstown rival, Foothill Knights. So at times it was a sloppy football game, a lot of penalties, a turnover for each side, a couple of turnovers, excuse me, two by Tustin, one by Foothill, but really you have to say a well-played defensive game by both teams. Boy, you give a lot of credit to Foothill. They came in as the big underdogs, and you know that's got to be a, a moral victory for them just to come away here knowing that they can stop a high-power offense like that Tustin Tiller attack. And for Tustin, boy, just happy to escape. I mentioned that late in the game, that uh, one team was maybe just going to be happy to escape out of here with a victory, and that ended up being the Tustin Tillers here tonight. So we'll go ahead and remind you of the final score. Tustin, six. Foothill, nothing. As they win the annual battle between the two crosstown rival schools here in the Tustin area. And it was junior Brian Judd coming up with a big run on the night, a 49-yard scamper to give the Tillers the victory. So once again, congratulations to the Tustin Tillers. They're 1-0 on the season. They'll next take on Bishop Amott next Friday night. And for the Foothill Knights, 0-1 now on the young season. And they'll take on Woodbridge next Thursday night. Thanks for joining us here once again. I want to say thank you to our entire staff here at AT&T Broadband. I want to thank everybody who helped out here tonight. This is Bob Gibson signing off from Northrop Field on the campus of Tustin High School. I'll remind you of the final score. The Tustin Tillers have the bragging rights for another year now as they escape with their lives and a 6-0 victory over the Foothill Knights. Good night, everybody.